detention center? Grossberg. Fuck. Something's gotta have changed. Maybe it was something with that old man that we hadn't done yet. Wait, no. Go over to the woods. See if anything new's there. Fishing pole looks expensive. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny it doesn't look like the type who'd keep the things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Oh, he has a television in here, too. that a lawyer badge? Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Are you? I get you figured out now. You're not Keith. Nick? Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir. Um, no, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. Shut up, Meg. We're here investigating a murder that took place on the lake the other night. Please help us. Mmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Sure. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Uh, I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say... Me, you too, Meg. Yes. <laughs> you bring tears to your old man's eyes, you know. Now, what was it that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello, Squawk. Now he's talking to that bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Well, here is the only friend remote in the world. Yeah, okay. Try this. You know about Gordy? Nope. <laughs> Autopsy? He fell asleep. Wow. Like photo? I up, I seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith! Yes? It's okay, you can call me dad. Dad? You know something about this? I up the other night, out on the lake. 
Yes, yes. I know of all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what ha you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're talking, taking over the shop and all. Finally. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night, are you? It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. I up. What'd he say? I up. I forgot. Ask Polly. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Eh. Little Terry was just here. Terry? I have the kid next door. You, al you always used to make him cry, remember? He's wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers going in. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come back to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information off from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk. Don't forget DL6, Squawk. Huh? What did she just say next? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6, Squawk. What? DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I mean dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird to Polly know about DL sex? We have to figure out what that old man is, who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on DL sex. Maybe I should go ask Detective Gumshoe. Are you still here? Not not detention center, fuck. Hey pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? Who's the boat take, caretaker? You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness tomorrow in court, right? Huh? How do you... Mm, yeah, that was supposed to be top secret. How do you... Do you know who that man, old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an old bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm? Huh? Detective Gumshoe, help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. Tell the truth, I don't know much about it, DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, wait, what? I'm drawing a fucking blank, buddy. Fuck off. She's directly w part of it. Can I look at his stuff? See if I can't find it. Expensive looking mahogany. Bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. 
funny. They don't look like they've uh, ever been read. Actually, I might be able to go to my law office. Difficult looking legal books, uh, staying in formidable road, and mocked me. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand, then my foot hurt too. Jesus. Me, his favorite plant. Its name is Charlie. Maya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up. Okay. Fuck. Oh, detention center? No. Still not there. Fuck. Do I have anything that can be used? Autopsy? Robert Hammond. Okay, that works enough. He was a defense attorney in the DL6 incident. What? That's how it's involved. Oh my god. I swear to Christ. Convince me to open it up. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do to convince you. Give me an attorney's badge. Give you this. I don't care who you are, you can't tell me that's okay. Oh, thanks, Detective. This was really helpful. Really? You seem surprised. Huh? No, not at all. Glad it worked out for me. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, how do I prove that it's involved? I think Lotto takes very good care of her SUV. It's covered with dents. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Nope. Can I go inside? Or no? Mm. Piece of shit, old man. Small boat rental. Just talk to Maya, see if anything comes up. I can't. I don't know how I'm supposed to get past him. To tell you the truth, I don't know either. So I'm afraid I can't help you. You can convince me somehow that the DL6 incidents related to this case. Hammond! Jesus! Okay. Whatever. Hammond's involved. I mean, come on. She's involved. that apparent if he's gonna literally believe the word of a fucking parrot the old man at the boathouse rental shops parrot the parrot knew about the incident and that incident the all sex what he believes the fucking word of a parrot over yeah the defense attorney for the dl6 incident was shot and died Who's also really tied to Edgeworth in this case as well. No, that's probably not a thing. This parrot, though, saying, don't forget about DL6. 
That's the real, that's the real tie together. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would he, that old man, know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if? What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Uh, though there is the station... Uh, through there is the station records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Alright, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick. To the records room. I guess it's time we've faced Edgeworth's past. Records room. Wow! It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find the DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6. Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. I want everything. <laughs> Literally everything. Uh, suspect data first. Going data on the suspect. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested suspect was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well then, he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? It's probably the old man. He may have be closer than we think. It's probably the old man for the fact that he has that parrot to remember what he's forgotten because he has memory issues. Case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? Is this the same district court where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the courtroom building collapsed and all the lights went out. Oh, that's why he hates earthquakes so much. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in an elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have any data on the victim? Edgeworth's father. Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Uh, Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was on the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could have been an, it could not have been suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh? Sounds just like the current case. What's going on here? I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick? Are you- we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need?
right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. And all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. goes easier than last time or smoother I should say not necessarily easier I don't mind the challenge I just wanted to go smoother district court courtroom number three I fucking hate karma court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth defense is ready your honor very well though apparently the prosecution is also ready Who's this judge here, anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, very well, no opening statement, so. Not so fast, judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Right, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Must you question everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. Before you do. <laughs> I need to check. It will probably be that. Answers in the name probably. Oh my god, we're gonna have to prosecute a fucking... Or cross-examine a parrot. I'll call my witness now. Fuck. Actually, give me a profile. Uh, age is unknown, male gender, caretaker of the boat, rental shop in uh, Gord Lake Park, thinks he owns a hat, he runs a restaurant, pasta, restaurant. Gregory, victim in DL6, a defense attorney and Miles' father. I was hoping you would add, uh, the clerk, All right? I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. It's the mysterious boat shot up, shot up. Witness, state your profession. Mm -hmm. I am the perpetrator, proprietor of the pr restaurant at the Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And uh, I also rent boats. Night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? No, no, no. What's his name? Say your name for the court, for the record. Uh, uh yep, uh, yep, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. Raise objection. objection. Wait a minute, you have to identify him for the court. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah! I predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. The witness will state his name. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm not really sure, right? What do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. That sounds like a certain someone. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Yet he can recall what happened on the day of that murder. Yeah, I'll believe everything he says. He can't recall what you say. Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness? Witness testimony. Not the murder. No, I'm not going to trust someone with shitty memory to the fact they can't even remember their own fucking name. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight, I, I was in the restaurant, well, uh, I, where I rent boats, as usual. Then I heard a bang. I, uh, when I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. Very well, I'd like to begin the cross-examination. There's nothing to question my witness's testimony. Yes, there is. We've already established that there's heavy fog and it's impossible to see without any kind of visual aid. Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Judge your verdict now. Uh, yes. Mr. Wright? Cross-examine. 
What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Very well, you may begin. Ah! Excuse me, Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. I see. Well, then let's take our time. <laughs> you may cross-examine the witness. Get the fuck over yourself, buddy. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. True. Wait, how do you know it was just after midnight? Did you look at the clock when you heard the bang? Just after midnight, you say? I have just around then. Are you sure? Pretty sure. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? Oh. Don't glare at me like that. I, uh, I remembered it clearly, I did. I, uh... You see, continue. I was in the restaurant there, uh, where I rent boats. Is there anyone who can verify that? Well, I guess Polly could. <laughs> That's not good enough for a court of law. That's to write exactly what's not good enough. Uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. A parrot? Don't be so hard on the girl, Keithy boy. Keith? The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. Then I heard a bang. And where did the bang seem to come from? From the lake, I figure. Are you certain? I uh, yep. Good, continue. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. But I figured there was two men out there. I, but you couldn't see them clearly. I, yep, at the time. Now that is. At the time. Then I heard another bang. So you heard two gunshots total. I, yep. That's what Lotta said in her testimony yesterday. It's about then the boat comes back to the shore and the man walks by my window. By your window. I up by my window, right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. That man was a defendant who says, I can't believe he's dead. Are you sure? Uh oh. Dad. Dead certain, Keith. He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by too. Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him, that Edgeworth boy. Did he just die? This uh, sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. On karma. He lured me into cross-examining so he could set up me up for a fall. Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I better act quick or this trial is going to be over. Wait and see what happens. Raise an objection. objection. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's court that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand find on, found on the gun? And the photograph showing the man firing with his left? Exactly. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. Then why would he then put his right hand on it? You dumb motherfucker. You're ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Mm. The judge is lost in thought, which I do. Raise another injection. Your Honor, this witness claims that Edgeworth said I can't believe he's dead. But his words is all word is all we have. If he were telling a lie. Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells us all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is lie, show us proof. Nick, 
Do we have evidence? It's no good. There is nothing I can do. Are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please? We need your help. Nick needs you. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough. The witness may leave the stand. <laughs> Drag him out. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial, nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpreting the facts. What? No. Hmm. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Fuck. The accused will surrender court immediately. To be held pending trial at a higher court within a month's date. That is all courts adjourn. Goody. Wait! Who is that just now? Me! Huh? What? Larry? What are you doing here? Listen, you gotta listen to me. Uh, I was... I was there in the park the night of the murder. I, I wasn't sure about it until yesterday. But today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot! I heard it too. Well, there's three gunshots. One was clearly above, before it. Order! What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. I mean, to be fair, once he bangs the gavel, it's over, so. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A gunshot that night. I was sitting there in the here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something you said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's just not right. I'll testify. Let me testify. The defense calls Larry to the stand. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, we've al you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us his final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. He can make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Well, I mean, just this immediate jail. Not even a sentencing. Your Honor, if there's another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Overturned. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my pre previous verdict of guilty. Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this witness a new witness to testify. Now. What? The court will adjourn for five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Court is adjourned. Fucking Larry. I really thought I fucked up there, though. I really thought I fucked up. December 27th, 10.28 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew. Yeah. Same. 